All right, number one in section 3.2, we're going to be going over truth tables. And we see some of the same symbols that we saw in section one, uh, 3.1. And so I want to give you the, uh, the short, the cliff notes on these symbols and determining truth value. <clears throat> Whenever you see this symbol, this V shape, which means or, so just for example, if I say P or Q, these are tr the traditional letters that we use, P or Q, this statement is only false, so only false if both P and Q are false. So if both statements are false, So if both P and Q are false, then an OR statement will be false. Okay. So just in hypothetical, I'm not writing this down, but you'll have to listen. So let's say P, if you clean your room, and I say OR, you make all A's, then I will give you $50. So there's a, there's a stipulation. You clean your room OR, you make all A's, I give you $50. So if you clean your room, you don't make all A's, I will give you $50 because you don't have to do either or. If you don't clean your room and you make all A's, I give you $50. So true statement. If you clean your room and you make all A's, you do both, you get $50. The only way you don't get the money, you don't clean your room, you don't make all A's, uh, you won't get it. So um, <clears throat> this is only false if they're both false. Okay. And then we have and, so we might say P and Q. So this is the N, looks like an N, so that's and. And the stipulation here is only true. This time it's only true. This is the, the one case you look for, only true if both are true. I'm just going to say both are true. So still both P and Q. So you're going to be looking at two things at a time. Both are true. Alright, so again I can do the clean your room, uh, make all A's. So if you clean your room and make all A's, you get 50 bucks. You clean your room, you didn't make all A's, you don't get it. If you don't clean your room, you make all A's, you don't get it. You don't clean your room, you don't make all A's, you don't get it. You will only get it if you do both. So and, they both have to be true. This one is only false if they're both false. It's going to be true in every other scenario. This is going to be false in every other scenario. Uh, one or the other being true. So these are the main two parts that you need to look out for. And then we'll be doing some truth tables. <clears throat> but we're going to start here. Alright, <clears throat> so we have if R is false. Okay, so look at R. This is false, and we have this scenario right here. So you have R, and then you have AND, something else. It doesn't even matter because all of this is going to be grouped together. So we got R here, we got V, we got NOT, Q. Um, all of this doesn't matter. Either this, this could be true or false. It doesn't matter. But you know this. This is only going to be true, only true if they're both are true. They told you right now that this is false. So given that you have this, the statement is automatically false. Number two, if P or this is true, what must be the truth value of P? So now they're telling you you have P, you have OR, something else, doesn't matter what it is, I'm just going to do a little scribble, and you know that this statement is true. Um, what must be the truth value of P? Okay, um, This right here could be true or false, we don't know. 
okay um, but let's just look at it um, I'm gonna say that this has to be true and I'm gonna explain that um, because one of them has to be true and let's say if we know that this one is false okay and we have or remember or it's only false if they're both false so if this is false this has to be true um, otherwise the whole statement is false um, this could be false only if we knew that this was true but we don't know that and furthermore if you look at that statement how can that be true because you have Q which let's say that that's true and you have not Q so you have something that's true you have something that is false and is only true if they're both true so this is guaranteed to be false because you can't have a true and something that's false at the same time uh, they both have to be true when you have and so this is guaranteed to be false which means that this would have to be true so you gotta think really logically and you really have to um, have these definitions nailed down so you just got the simplest case if you have both false it's false otherwise it will be true if you have both true then it's true otherwise it will be false okay every other scenario so anyway in this case this has to be true um, when you have or one of them needs to be true if the statement is going to be true so um, you can look at this and guarantee it to be false but even to be on the safe side you would want to say that that would be true